Hello everyone and welcome back to ProMark's interactive panel training session. Today we are going to learn about ProMark's AT series. This panel out here is 65 inches and let me tell you something about the panel hardware. The outer casing is made up of aluminum die cast and the glass is toughened glass which means that it can withstand a lot of pressure and there are no chances of it getting scratched or any other damage to the panel. And as you look down here, there are two speakers, dual speakers. This panel comes out with dual speakers of 20 watts each, a total amounting to 40 watts, which is very good for a big size room of about uh, 25 to 35 uh, square feet, 25 to 35 feet in length. And here, as you can see that this panel is uh, comes with Android 11 version, which is the latest. And its configuration is 4 GB RAM and 32 GB uh, memory which is expandable that means you can have 32 GB more which is about 65, 64 GB in total now let's come to the software part of it if you see here there are four icons out here and one of the icons is whiteboard finder study and learn and eShare Pro we will go through this one by one let's start with the most important one which is the whiteboard this whiteboard feature is being used by most of the trainers, the teachers in schools, institutions and colleges. As you can see out here, there are three sections to this. <clears throat> and this one, this one is the pen section. And this here are the pages where we can add <coughs> and delete pages. And here, these are the tools. Let's start with the pen section. In the pen section, we have got four options. One is the smooth pen, then we have the brush pen, and then we have the pointer and the magic wand. Let's start with the normal smooth pen. Here I have taken two pens out here, two pointers. That means if you look at the stylus here, it has got two ends. One is with a small diameter, the other one was a big diameter. We can choose two colors with this. And uh, now this is the brush stroke. Here we can also choose the thickness of the pen whatever we want. This gives a little as if you are writing with a brush. This is a pointer which is like a ballpoint small tipped one, round one. And this here is the magic wand feature. I am adding a page from here. The magic wand feeder, what it tells us is that if we try to make any kind of a diagram and all, the panel detects what we are trying to get and gives us a host of pictures to choose from. Let's see, if I draw a circle out here, it is giving us, giving a lot of pictures, photos with circles and I can choose any one of them for my uh, use out here. This is the eraser function whereby I can choose the thickness of the eraser whatever I want. I can, if I want to erase pixel by pixel, I can use this out here. But if I want to use the, if I want to erase the entire page, we have got this function called clean all and with which we can it is the entire board <clears throat> and then we have another feature out here which is the ruler what it does is we have this small uh, we have this uh, geometrical figures here which we can use for teaching in the class the first one is the ruler out here in this ruler you can see that we can decrease the size increase the size of the ruler according to our requirement and we can further extend it if we need be And also now we have the D. This D we can use it for our geometry purposes. We can choose the degrees we want. If you want a right angle, an acute angle or obtuse angle, all we need to do is select it and it tells us exactly what degrees it is. It is 80 degrees. We just eighty degrees. We can add another page out here. And now, this is the shapes. This panel comes with preloaded shapes. 
of 2D and 3D in nature. Let's try one of them. In the 2D, we also have an intelligent pen out here whereby we can select whatever we want to do. Suppose I'm trying to draw a line, I have to just manage and the panel automatically detects what I'm trying to draw and it gives me a perfect picture. If I'm drawing a circle, <clears throat> it detects and brings me a perfect circle. If I'm drawing a triangle, it detects and gives me a proper triangle. If I want to draw a square, it detects and gives me a perfect square. And we also have these preloaded uh, images out here. Then we have the 3D function out here. Let me add another page out here. In this 3D function, you can see different figures out here. Let me take this cube out here, cuboid. And if I want to write anything on it, I can write. Four centimeter. This is a cuboid. Let me add another page to this. And then we also have a function which is called the tables, whereby we can choose the number of rows and columns in this and we can insert it and we can write out here tables and then we also have something called the mind map or a cluster diagram here if you want to do some topic and we can bifurcate into different points out here we can write for example if you want to write school We get it in a type format out here and then we have subjects, let's say maths. We can further expand this into, suppose we want to expand this, this side, or we want to expand it further down, we can do this. Here also, if you want to expand it, and this we can keep doing it. This is the mind, mind map feature in this. We also have another feature whereby we suppose we are writing and we come to the bottom of the page and we don't want to add another page, but we want to scroll this page. We want to complete it on the same page. Then this feature is out here preview. And by this we can scroll it up or down or towards the right or towards the left. And this panel also has got another feature which is the undo one and also redo redo feature thank you